During interphase, the chromosomes are unfolded and are actively controlling the production of proteins. The first signs of meiosis occur during interphase when the DNA replicates to form chromatids and then the centrioles replicate. In early prophase, the nucleolus disappears. The centrioles move to opposite ends of the cell and the chromatids become visible because they have condensed and hence shortened. The spindle forms between the two centrioles. The pairs of homologous chromosomes come into close contact with each other and may even join to form chiasmata. The chiasmata allow for crossing over. This is the exchange of genetic material between the adjacent chromatids of different chromosomes. This exchange of genetic material increases the range of combinations of alleles that are possible in the future offspring. The pairs of homologous chromosomes are now arranged on the equator. During anaphase 1, the pairs of homologous chromosomes are pulled apart. At this stage, the chromatids are still held together by the centromere. Two new cells are now formed, each with only one of the original pair of homologous chromosomes. However, a second division follows because the chromatids that were first formed during interphase have to be separated. During prophase 2, the centrioles replicate and a new spindle begins to form. The chromosomes will recondense and the second division of meiosis is well underway. The separate chromosomes line up on the equator of the spindle. During anaphase, the chromatids are separated and pulled to opposite ends of the spindle. During telophase 2, the spindle disappears. The nuclear membrane and the nucleolus reform. The chromosomes expand. The haploid cells that have been formed now mature into gametes. 